using text in Blender can be quite painful, especially if you want to use subtitles and animated subtitles to blend them over the rest of the video in the sequence editor. And if you want to do this, normally you would have to change your blend file with the text animation to different subtitles and save them and render them and manage the files and directories and so on. But that is quite cumbersome. And I decided to write a script to change that. If you have downloaded the archive, um, then you have to dot pi scripts in this directory. The one the first one is text generator dot pi and example script dot pi. The second one is something you can use or you can you can change this script or you can save it to another name and it will import the text generator dot pi which defines the functions to use the uh, functions to render the text and this is just an execution helper. Uh, you have to set the Blender binary to some things that make sense. I have Blender 2.6OA and you have to set a generator, which in this case is generators plain one dot blend. These are just easy to customize blend files. I will show you later what you can do with them and you can use any output directory you like and you can even append a file name if you need it. You can run text generator once in this case with the, the name hello and generator and output it will just create 0001.png um, in this case and then you can use run multiples to save some typing if you want to create multiple text animations you can say here, as you can specify the generator here, you can uh, have an output directory here, which in this case is the, the output directory inside, um, inside, the, inside the archive, and run multiples will create anim animations for all these lines. These are pairs of strings, and the first name is hello1. It will be re rendered to the output directory hello1, this is concatenated, appended to the output directory, and this is e this is also appended to the output directory. If these directories don't do not exist, they will be created. Um, also, run text generator will do the same. Okay, now I will show you how to use Blender to customize the text generators. This is one of the generating blend files and you can see the scripting area. The script just um, opens, just uh, gets the text generator text environment variable. If there is no such, it will choose no parent given and this text is inserted into the text object. Nothing else about the text object is changed and you can extend the script, of course, if you want to adjust random seeds or whatever for your animation automatically. Okay, and the way I have set this up is that we have start frame animation at 1 and end frame animation at 50. These settings are not overwritten. So if I um, make this animation move, I can see that it moves up and it moves down. So at frame 25, we can see that this is just at the top now. So it's moving in. And I would use this frame to um, extend the stay time of this animation so that I don't um, have to render the exact frame number that I want to use later. And this animation doesn't change because, well, it just stays there. Another thing to note is if you want to use alpha over, you need to set png to RGBA. And this is quite important because otherwise you don't have an alpha channel. OK. 
okay, you can test it. Now here I have no problem given as um, as a text in this image file. Okay, I think that is all. Oh wait, we need to uh, we need to stress that this output thing is um, overwritten by the script file, so you shouldn't depend on this at all. Oh, well, that is all. Thank you for listening.